play. I am fitting this hinge into this slot on the old door. Now I used to do the thing where you fold the hinge back and that's where you place it, but I want this to be a little bit more proud. So what I'm doing is lining that line there up with the edge of the timber. And then I'm using this rattle to make, to accurately mark the center of the holes. Then I will double check with my combination square that they're parallel. The good thing about the bridle is it makes a starting point for the screw or drill bit. Now these are the screws that I ultimately want to use. It's a traditional timber screw. So for that, I would drill a pilot hole the full length of the screw. And then use a bigger drill bit to pilot just that far in for the fat part of the screw. So just that deep. You don't want to go all the way because then the screw will just fall in and out the hole. So the, the first drill bit is the size of the core of the screw. So the threads are biting into the wood. But just for temporary, I want to put this together for a trial. I'm just using these really tiny screws. I'm not going to pre-drill. It's a just a driver that's going to go in the hole that I made with the bridle. There, but this is it's way easier to get them in and out rather than with a slot screw. Yep, good. Now, this is the side piece that the doors hang off. Now, I filled the holes where the old hinge was, there and there, but I can more or less see where it was. So I'm going to hold this hard against. That's the tenon for there. And for this one, I'm just gonna, this is the, the hinge is a bit loose and it's quite good, this one. So mark either side of that leaf. And then this is my last hinge. I haven't got a spare hinge, so I'll take that one off. So I've got my lines there and there. It'll be the, the this side of the leaf that will be on the side part. So I'm now lining up the, this leaf here with the edge of the door. Make sure it's parallel with my eyes. And then brattle in the center. Nice. So see my hole is right next to the hole that I filled. So it's really good. I've got another video showing how I filled those holes because if it's not filled well, when I drive this screw in, it's just gonna meander closer to where it can, close to the original hole. <laughs>